I'm Leonie Els. I'm a grade three teacher at Large School Rachel de Beer. Um, I'm doing my lessons on shared reading, and today the focus is on reading with the teacher. They gave the animals food and water, and then they started to put up the big circus tent. Everybody was very busy. Nobody had time to look at what the elephants were doing. Nobody noticed that the one metal pole was loose in the ground. They will not be able to read all the words, but only the easy words they recognize. It's important not to interrupt the learners while reading with you. Even if some of them don't read, I will discuss the text with the learners to develop vocabulary and explain or demonstrate unfamiliar words. We had the word apron in the story and I was wondering if you know what the word apron means. Lesego? Mum, an apron is something that you wear to cook a bag in the kitchen so that you can mess on your clothes. Excellent answer. Very, very good answer. You use an apron, and I'm sure all of you, your mothers must have an apron in the kitchen when they cook your food for dinner and make your food for lunch and for breakfast in the morning. Next word. Do you remember when the elephant saw a building, he smelled something, and then he walked into the building and they said he walked through reception. Can you remember that? Now, I would like you to tell me what the word reception means. Kia. They can help you and, and admit. These words I will put up on a vocabulary wall. Okay guys, we're quickly going to go through our word wall so that you remember the words that we did in order for us to write a story later on. I, I want to see reception. One, two, three. Reception. Again. Reception. Metal pole. Metal pole. Again. Metal pole. Time. Time. Again. Time. Right. Corridor. Corridor. Building. Building. Dangerous. Dangerous. Again, dangerous. Dangerous. Faint. Faint. I also use sentences that I scramble and they must sequence it under the different headings, beginning, middle and end. So guys, do you think the story is fine now? No. Is this the first page? Yes. Is this the second page? No. Is this the third page? No. Is this the fourth page? No. We will need somebody to come and help us to sequence it correctly so that the order of the story is correct. Lesegu, let's see if you can help us. You must help her. Okay, just move to that side, move to your left. <coughs> is she doing it right? Is it right? Because I can't see now, guys, you must help me. Is it right, Nicole? Right. Is it correct now? Yes. Let's give her a hand. Excellent, Lesefi. Well done. So that's the order of our story. Remember exactly how it happened? We're going to have a beginning here. And then the big part. This is going to be the trunk of the elephant. This is going to be the body of the elephant. Everything that happened in the middle. And this is going to be the tail of the elephant. So now you see the whole elephant in front of you. I also use sentences that are scramble and they must sequence it under the different headings, beginning, middle and end. 
You need to help me now and tell me if this will be correct. If we start the story by saying, let's read this together. Do you think that's correct for a beginning? Okay, let's see. We can put it up like that. And then if we say this, read it. Is that correct? Yes. You must help me. If I'm wrong, you must tell me, guys. The elephant walked into the hospital. Is that correct? Yes. Because the building was the hospital. Do you remember? Yes. Okay, so that's going to be part of the middle as well. Right. The elephant followed the doctor out of the hospital. Is it correct? Because yes. that was the end. I also use sentences that are scramble and they must sequence it under the different headings, beginning, middle and end. Who wants to be next? Bakankam. <laughs> Donkey Kumu, you can sit down. This one. No. Uh, why not? Uh, yes. Food and water, food and water. Huh? I think so. Ah, okay. Put it up. Get onto the chair. You're going to struggle to reach there. Will you be able to? Okay. That's it. Thank you, Bakong. Dylan, let's see. Ah. Ah. Make your pick, Dylan. Make your pick. Mm. Is that the correct one that he chose, guys? Yes. Let's see. Excellent. Thank you, Dylan. As soon as they are familiar with the dialogue, I divide them into groups which form the different characters and they read the story as a group. I will then select individual learners to act out the dialogue with the appropriate res resources such as an elephant mask and different costumes. Now I lose. I smell something nice. I'm going to follow that smell. Oh no! There's an elephant around the street. It's a dangerous animal. What are we going to do? I wonder what they're shouting about. Hmm, here's a big building. I'm going inside. Oh, goodness, look at the elephant. He's going to kill us. The smell is getting stronger and stronger. Oh, I'm so afraid. I see an orange in Mrs. Rodriguez's head. I want it. I'm going to take I want another orange. I'm going to take another one. No, Dumbo. Look here. I have two more oranges for you. Mmm, more oranges. I'm going to follow Dr. Moya.